You haven't started it. No, man. <laughs> So in the last video, you asked me about digital distribution yeah. and Netflix and things like oh, that, yeah. and being able to sit in your in your house, go into Netflix, browse through a gigantic list of TV shows. Yeah. But it wasn't always like that. When mm. we were kids, if you wanted to watch a film, yeah, you had to go to a video shop, mm. and you you go into your video shop and you would browse for forty odd minutes. Yeah. Do you miss doing that? Yeah, totally. So good. So exciting. I, when I was yeah, when I was really, really young, there used to be a video shop next to me grandparents' house and he would we would walk from his in the in the, the centre of well, it was like Doxford Park in Sunland. And there used to be one there, smoky as hell. It looked like a bag of crap. Um, but it was the same woman who would serve us. She she must be the only person who worked there. You went in and it had like these dusty with the, the, the boxes, it was the cases, yeah. these dusty video cases, um, and it was just, it was just like a library of all these films, and I would spend easily half an hour to forty-five minutes picking what I wanted. Oh yeah, easily, because you just spoil for choice. It's crazy. That well, that was where I first sort of experienced sort of Star Wars, really. Um, and my Strikes Back was first, and then Return of the Jedi. I remember getting Return of the Jedi. Um, Police Academy. For some stupid reason, I would get Police Academy out all the time. All six, like six of them. Say, and mind. like, I remember like my granddad was like, "Yeah, fine." And then like when I took it home, mum and dad would be like, "Oh my god, again, Police Academy." But like, you know what I mean? It was like kind of like, you know what? So what? I'm gonna watch that, that is what I want, and yeah. it's costing you a quarter of what it would be if you bought us that. Yeah, yeah, I, I do miss it, it's too easy now. Well, well that's too it, easy. Uh, that's it, I mean, we, we talked before about how going to the cinema is an experience that we don't want to lose. Yeah. Back in the day, going to the video shop was the it was part of the experience. Yeah, what it was, was the yeah, Saturday night, should, should we go and get a film? Yeah. And you'd get in the car and you and it was like you were excited as you drove down to the video shop. Oh, and no. then you'd go in uh, and there was one I remember in particular and it was just um just massive this shop. And you used to go in and just you're right, it was like it was like you didn't know where to start. Because mm -hmm. you were just looking around and there were so many films. And it was that thing, it was that looking around around and you'd go through all the films, and then you'd pick two or three that you wanted to watch and you knew you could only pick one it's not like yeah. Netflix now where you can just watch one and then just watch the other one straight yeah. you'd have the two boxes in your hand and you're reading the descriptions and, yeah. and I miss that yeah. and were you saying there yours was Police Academy yeah. mine was Back in the Future 3 every week what just three just three <laughs> brilliant we had, there, was, there was a massive video shop around our parts but there was also uh, it's kind of like a little beer shop just around the corner so you get your wines and your things and they had a they had a little video rental uh, section and every week I used to go get back to Future 3. I know what you mean. You used to be able to turn road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um but yeah I mean I just I feel like it's it, it has taken something away from it. And it was I felt sad when I saw when all of these kind of video shops and things started to fold. Mm. And like when Blockbuster videos, I mean Blockbuster videos used to be it used Massive. to be giant, yeah, 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 it was, a, a, a it was giant of like a, a entertainment, and now it's just non-existent. Because oh, I, and, I don't and don't get us wrong, Netflix makes things. It certainly makes things easy, and having all of that choice at the touch of a button is mm. great. Yeah, but it's but it's it's taken something away, and like our kids will never they'll they'll never know anything other than just being able to access it as the touch of a button. They'll never know what it was what it was like to kind of go to a video shop and, and that's a shame because I remember how much I enjoyed it and, and in a way I'd, I'd love my daughter to have that experience and she never yeah, will. No, no, but she won't realise what she's missed. No. That's, that's the thing, that, that's the benefit to our kids being as young as what they are is they won't even know that that was even a thing. So they don't really have that worry. Um, but it is what it is, it's yeah. digital distribution, it's here to stay, it's oh, not going to go yeah. away now. No. So that is it, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it is convenient now. That it is. is the thing. It's, all, it's so convenient. Like, I can pick a playlist of five or six films and I'm not even be dressed to do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, 
and silly boxes if I want to. But it's also weird to think that something that was so felt so natural to us back in the day. Yeah. Like like in the in the future, when our kids are going to we're going to say to our kids, you know, you've got it really easy. Back in the day when we wanted to go and see a film, we had to get in the car and we had to drive down. Oh to the my shop god, to makes us feel so old, That's doesn't it? Right? Back in my day, I used to go to a shop. But yeah, and they'd be like, and they'd be like, go to a shop. And oh, that's yeah. it's weird. So archaic. It's but, uh, very very weird. Yeah, but yeah, uh, guys, let us know what you think. Uh, are you of the same age as us? Uh, where going to the video shop to get your Saturday night film was commonplace hmm. uh, when you were younger? Let us know what you think about digital distribution. Has it ruined the experience, or is it just all a good thing? Um, let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks very much for watching. I think we think we're still being old and miserable about this whole topic. Like, I've got the film at heart. We are getting really. Ready. Yeah, we we did. Sorry, I will be miserable and nostalgic though. Right in the comments, let us know if, if we're being old and miserable and being too retro about things. Yeah, retro was always good.